When was the last time you ever looked at you through the eyes of the mirrors that you call your beloved, your friends? When was the last time you ever saw you through the mirror and understood you? I am much more than I think I am. I can be much more even than that. I'm not alone. Knowledge allows the brain to begin to become wired. And we will begin to see what has always existed. But because we live in those routine automatic programs, we're unable to see because we're processing mind from the familiar. To learn knowledge means we're learning new things. And to learn new things means we're gathering information and creating the circuitry now to begin to develop the sensitivity, to begin to see things for the first time. We are entangled. We're, if you want to call it quantum entanglement, fine, but we are entangled. And there is no real separation between us so that what we do to another, we do to an aspect of ourselves. Why do we not see the entanglement? Because evolution has pushed us to not see it. And we're, we get quite good at not seeing it. You know, I, the sensory input is designing, is constructing this image of the world in which the things are separate. But we know through experiments, we know through experience that they're separate, but they're at some level, they're not so separate after all. We're finding non-locality everywhere, in our bodies, in space, from stars, um, in regions of the zero point field, everything is connected. And so we have this, this involvement in everything. We are our world. There's no out there, out there. We are, we are, there's no place where we end and everything else begins. We're all connected.